Hey guys, for phonics and language today, I want you to practice your phonics charts 12 and 13 before we get started with this lesson. So if you haven't done that yet, stop this video, go back, practice those two charts, and really, really practice them. And then come back to this video and we can start the lesson. Today's lesson, we've done this sort of thing before, but we're gonna focus on two new suffixes. So I wanna remind you, when we're using suffixes, they are connected to the end of a root word. A root word is a word that stands alone. It's a word can just, that can just be there by itself. If you, you can't take any letters off of it or else it won't be a word anymore. Now, a suffix is a letter or group of letters that you can add to the end of that root word and make it a new word. The suffixes we're doing today have three and four letters. We have done a few in the past where it was one letter, two letters, three letters. We're doing one that has three letters and one that has four letters. Now, when we do suffixes, usually they mean something. So we're gonna go over two new suffixes, what they mean and how they change that word. The first one is full. When we add F-U-L, full to the end, it means full of. Now, if you look really carefully, the real way of spelling the word full is F-U-L-L, -L, two L's. But when we add it as a suffix, you only put one L. So you need to be very careful. I've seen lots of people get this confused. When we add it as a suffix, it's only one L. Full means full of. So it changes the root word to mean full of that thing. So our first word we have here is helpful. Helpful means full of help. The second word we have is careful. Careful means full of care. The third one is hopeful, full of hope, faithful, full of faith, and the last one is painful, full of pain. So it's full of the root word that's in front of it. Now the second suffix is kind of the opposite of that. It's less. If we add less to the end of a root word, it means without that root word. So this one, we don't change the spelling at all. Remember, we just do one L for this suffix. This is spelled exactly the same way as the word less. It means without. So if we take those same words and we put less instead of full, we change it to without that root word. So helpless means without help. Careless means without care. Hopeless means without hope. Now this one, if you look really carefully, Mrs. B made a, a small spelling error. This is the real reason why I want you to always use a pencil on your work because I used a marker and I couldn't erase it. I couldn't fix it. It's supposed to say faithless. So I just want you to remind you, use a pencil, don't use a pen because you can't fix the pen. So faithless means without faith. And the last one is painless, without pain. So full as a suffix means full of that root word and less as a suffix means without that root word. Now you're gonna see that on your worksheet today on page 239 and you're gonna change these words. You're gonna make them be full of or without something. So I want you to look carefully as you go through your paper Make sure you read all of the directions very, very carefully. And I will go over dictation with you right now. So dictation on page 239, we're actually gonna use these and we're going to make words. So try not to peek at my list until after you've written your word. But the first line, we are gonna do three words. We're gonna write the root word. Then the second word you're gonna write, I'm gonna tell you that root word with a suffix. And the third one is gonna be that same root word, but with a new suffix. Then the second line, we're gonna do the same thing all over again. We're gonna start with the root word on the first line, 
The second line is going to be the root word plus a suffix. And the third line is the root word plus a different suffix. So our first line, first word, the root word is thought. Thought. I thought of a fun game we could play. Thought. Write the whole word. Thought. The second word is going to be that root word with a suffix, which lucky for you, it's going to be a suffix we learned today. So please write the word thoughtful. Thoughtful. And the third word is that same root word with a different suffix, thoughtless. Thoughtless. Now the second line, we're going to do a new root word. Same pattern, new root word. The first root word I'd like you to write is the word hope. Hope. I hope you had a wonderfully restful Easter break. Now we're gonna add a suffix to it. So the second word is the root word plus a suffix. I would like you to write the word hopeful. Hopeful. And the third one, same root word, different suffix, hopeless. Hopeless. Okay, I want you to make sure you read all of the directions very carefully on both sides of your paper. And that's it for today. Bye.